Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about the two methods that I've come across to disable the touch bar. Uh, because while you're typing, and you may or may have not discovered this yet, but essentially you'll get a lot of false input where you're accidentally touching the volume keys, uh, the, the play and pause buttons, and the uh, Siri button there, and essentially uh, just really isn't that great of a feature, kind of becomes a nuisance. So let's get into how I've come around to kind of deal with it, and uh, it works pretty well. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is go into uh, System Preferences. So go ahead and click on the Apple logo, hit System Preferences up there, and from here we're going to go to the keyboard. All right, from the keyboard here, uh, what we'll want to do is make sure that the touch bar shows the expanded control strip which is what we were looking at last time. You want the uh, FN key to do nothing, and then when you press and hold the FN key, you want it to show uh, app controls, okay? And then the most important piece here is we want to hit control, uh, customize the control strip. All right, and when you hit customize control strip, you'll see this little window pop up on your uh, laptop and then essentially what that'll let you do is pull off things with your mouse so kind of just drag your mouse down and it kind of transforms into your uh, touch bar which is pretty cool and what you want to do is pull everything off there we go and you'll just have that done key left boom you hit that and that's it. Now when you're typing, there's nothing up here for you to accidentally hit. But when you hold the FN key, it'll actually show you options for each specific app. So if you need to press something on the touch strip holding down the FN key, we'll do it for you. Okay. Now the only downside that I found to this is that uh, you can't control the uh, the brightness and the volume so essentially what you'll have to do is make sure that you go up here and then you can control the sound and you can control the brightness uh, and the keyboard brightness and sort of all that stuff from the a little control center up here so um, to some people that might be an issue others it might not be okay and now the second method is actually an application so let's go to applications it works slightly different though um, it's called no, uh, I think it's called no bar or bar none rather. Uh, let me see where it is here. Bar none. There it is. So what bar none does is essentially it disables the uh, touch bar and it won't do anything at all. You have to hold down the F and key in order for it to uh, enable. Uh, if I can open it up, I'll show you guys what it does here. Um, and here, like the instructions here, bar none ignores all touch bar input unless the FN key is held. Exceptional. Uh, in keyboard preferences, set touch bar to show F1, F2, etc. Uh, keys and press FN. Key to your preferred touch bar controls. Um, and then you can also choose to have it launch at login. I used this for a while. It was uh, my favorite. But then I realized... I didn't really like the options that I got when I held down the F key with it. So you can play around with both and see which one works better for you. Uh, I'll provide the link to the download in the description. Uh, there's only one version so far, but uh, hopefully this developer will update it. I think he released this in 2020. There haven't been any updates yet, but for the most part, it just works as expected. All right, that sums up this little uh, video on the uh, touch bar. Hope you, some of you found that useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.